God, it's a beautiful oh. day today. Come on, Micah. I told you not to talk in my bag swing. I'm sorry. It's not like you can hit the golf ball anyway. Classic Jeez. Micah, dude. Just, just let me hit this shot, dude. Four! I'm Will Herzig. And I'm Michael Hall. And, and this, this is KYOT. That was a rough way to start the day. Bad day for you, bad day. Man. I'm, I've had five coffees from the perk, so I'm actually doing great right now. Get you perked up, I highly recommend it. Five coffees from the perk? Sounds like a great time. It's, it's a great time. I'd do it right now. For real though, man, you need to chill out. Send it to Sonya and Max for more. Every morning, students flock towards the student center for a good drink and to spend time with friends. Founding the Mohai Perk was an upstream battle, but special ed teacher Jennifer Cohen was able to make it work. Um, I started it back in 2018, but I had been thinking about it for years. I think throughout the process, I realized that there was not enough job skills given or opportunities given to students with special needs. So I was thinking, how do I incorporate that into a school setting? That way, once they leave here, um, they're able to go on and hopefully get employment. With the help of special ed para Kathleen Calcagno, something magical is able to come alive. Because we're able to work with our kids from the intensive learning class, um, kids with special needs, and that they're able to come down here and work together with me and we have developed it into a working coffee shop. With Miss Calcagno's help, the students were able to grind the beans and learn how to run the Mohai Perk. Senior Inaki Perez and Turbe has helped the Mohai Perk from the start. I worked at Mohai Perk for three years. Not only were the students able to run a coffee shop, but they also learned valuable life skills along the way. This was news straight off the hot French presses. For KYOT, this is Sonia Solomon and Max Roberts. Oh yeah, I'm definitely feeling more energized. Told you the perk would make you feel better. Definitely, around this time of year, I'm definitely drinking more coffee. Same bro, I just cuddle up and study and it's nice and warm and it helps me stay up late. Yeah, especially with finals around the corner. Facts, facts, facts. Who else has some hard finals? You know, let's ask Austin and Isabella. What's up, beauties? Today we're asking you guys what's your hardest final and why. Alrighty, what's your hardest final and why? I'm going to have to say a push because it's just a lot of writing and a lot of multiple choice. Just a lot of lot to remember, yeah. Hey, okay, what's your hardest final and why? I think LA because I have to write an essay in one class for you, but I think I got it. Hardest final and why? Uh, marine biology because we have to memorize a bunch of, like, Greek and Latin names for animals. Your hardest final and why? Um, Calc BC, just because of all the math involved. Um, we kind of switch between two teachers during the year. What's your hardest final and why? AP Literature 2. Be the combination of the multiple choice and the short uh, essay. Going to be really complicated to think about, but hopefully I'll get it in done. <clears throat> What's the matter, buddy? The finals! I, I hate them! I don't want to think about it. It's nothing to be mad about. What, so I'm just, I can't be mad about anything? Can't be mad about Campus Drive or anything? No, but you know who can? Dominic Spicone. Over to you. Welcome, Coyotes. I'm Dominic Spicone, and I'm mad. This week, I'm mad about Campus Drive. We all know it and love it, but since the dawn of Monarch, Coyotes have had to brave the potholes and unfinished dangers of this road every day to go to and from school. With the worst road design I have ever seen, trying not to crash your car feels like a challenge. Leaving school, particularly on a Wednesday, trying not to fall asleep in the, tra in the stop and go traffic is almost impossible. With one way in and one way out, bottlenecking 1,600 students, the traffic can move so slowly that getting out and walking feels like a better option. With the 20 mile per hour speed limit, 
Speeding on Campus Drive feels like a little too good of an option, but it doesn't really pair well when we've got the Louisville PD's brand new lightning machine on the prowl, waiting for poor kids to go to school. While we're rolling down the old Campus Drive is a nightmare, it's a burden we all must share together. And it doesn't make for a bad trauma bond either. We've got to deal with what we got, coyotes. Be kind to each other on the roads. Have a great day. Just hate thinking about Campus Drive. That's all for KYOT. And remember, Pat Strong. Oh, oh.